morning. Good morning, good morning. How are we all doing? I'm great, actually. I've had a cracking sleep and I'm ready for a day with you. We are going to be investigating some London bakeries today. There are lots of new bakery items that have been popping up on my For You page, so I thought it'd be really interesting to try them together and just see if they're good or not. So I'm going to get ready for the day. I'm going to go and have a shower, freshen up. Kind of need to wash my hair. Really can't be bothered. Can we make it last another day? Let's go and see. Oh, I'm not ready to go. I'm so fresh and clean after that shower. I've got a robe on. I'm actually in the market for a new robe because my mum loved my robe um, and she was like, I can't find one, so I just gave it to her. So now I'm robeless um, and I really want to find like the perfect robe. Uh-oh, I'm on the hunt again, you know what I'm like? So if anyone has any dressing gown recommendations, that would be fantastic. I like them with a hood. Ideally, and I also like them quite thick and soft, not super towny, but you know, I'm open to any recommendations. Also, I need to apply a little bit of bronzella um, because I've got the fattest ulcer. It's so weird when ulcers just appear, isn't it? They just come out of nowhere and they just obliterate your mouth. It literally feels like I have to talk like this. Okay, let's see if that helps or not. Also, if I'm ever renovating a bathroom please remind me never get black sinks these sinks were spotless yesterday and now they are so gross um and look like they haven't been cleaned in years one of the places that i was thinking of going to for this bakery crawl apparently there's always a massive queue and i'm like do i actually waste my time going there and then they don't even have anything for me or do i just admit my losses and know that i'm not going to get anything so there's no point going I'm really torn, very torn. I don't know what I was expecting from that bonjella, but it's literally helped it so much. You've really got to massage it in there. Wow, shout out bonjella. Okay, I'm all dressed and ready. I'm first going to go get some brekkie um, because breakfast is included in this hotel and I'm not about to miss that opportunity, you know. And I also need some fuel because I'm going to be walking around all of London, so I need to make sure I'm fueled and equipped and ready for a day of exploring. such a funny experience in there it was so chaotic but kind of felt like I was it did not feel like I was in London it felt like I was in the middle of a tiny little village where everyone knew everyone it's quite sweet um but it was expensive gosh one pound of chocolate and one almond croissant was nine pounds ten quite expensive I also love London I'm a cold chili I was about to say I'm a cold chili morning because it's so quiet but um Something's going on down there. Uh, it's just so peaceful, um, but not peaceful. It's peaceful, but then there's like a gentle bustle of everyone going about their little mornings and like bleary eyed. It's quite sweet. Look at this. I mean, it doesn't really look like a croissant, does it? This is it in reference to my hand. And I've got big hands. It's absolutely huge. It does look like something that you'd see in the sea, doesn't it? I am back at the hotel because stupidly I've forgotten my camera and I need to let it charge. Um, so I'm going to have to wait for it to charge now. But we are going to have a little pastry test. This is a meaty, meaty guy. He is chunk. Oh my gosh, this literally feels like I could do... I was going to name something like... Wait related but I don't know any of those things like I don't pull up no I don't know look at that it's literally the size of my head it's 
it looks like an extra extraterrestrial being. That is so good. That is so buttery. Rich, opulent, crispy, flaky. Everything I want an almond croissant to be. And then here we have our pan of chocolate, which also is pretty an impressive size. Um, got a nice little sheen to it. It's good. I feel like it depends what you expect in a croissant. Because actually, a lot of the ones that you get in France, they're like actually good ones. Everyone thinks they should be really light and airy. But actually, the really good ones in France are quite squatchy. They don't have these massive big laminations. Whereas, if a croissant is really laminated and really puffy and light, they probably used a margarine because it has more water content, which means when the water and the steam evaporates, in the croissant giving it that lift and volume it gets more volume which is why in a supermarket they're a lot more aerated i don't know if you've noticed that before so like a proper rich buttery croissant won't actually be super massive in size they go a little bit of science for you um so it depends what you're looking for because i quite like them squatty like this i like but i feel like lots of people will be like this is just like cakey you know so it really depends but i've enjoyed it um and now i just got away from my camera to charge because it's currently on my phone and we can't have this whole video on my phone can we no 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 don't fuck with my <laughs> before and I loved it there. It's called Fortitude Bait House and I'm very happy that it is suddenly getting the popularity that it deserves. It is this gorgeous little bakery and also I just love the vibes in there because everyone's like baking behind the counter. It's just so flipping lovely in there. Um, and they've had this new product which I've kind of seen just about everywhere. This is called, I think it's called a treacle cream filled beignet. And I've not had a beignet before, so this is gonna be so much fun. <gasps> wow, it's absolutely show-stopping, breathtaking, stunning, massive. And where I also did get, um, I was about to say a little sausage roll. These sausage rolls are not to be messed with. They're absolutely chungus. Have you ever seen a bigger sausage roll than that? But I can't show you, like it is absolutely Huge. I got that for my fiance because he's a big sausage roll lover, just like my dad. And don't worry, if he's marrying me, then he needs to give me a full detailed review of that sausage roll. He's actually a ride or die gay or sausage roll kind of guy, so we'll see how it fares. I can't in my heart. Kind of underwhelming. It's a little bit burnt on the bottom, so it's not super light and fluffy, and just kind of dry. And the treacle cream feels a little bit like it's been over whipped. Can you see that? You know when it goes all like coagulated? Dang it, I thought Fortitude Bakehouse was gonna be a, an absolute win all round because I've had their other stuff. But this has been a letdown. <laughs> So hectic in there, and the queue was a bit of a mess. But onwards and upwards, we are off to our next destination, which is a different restaurant. These look amazing. So, I think this one is a nutty one, then we have some sort of a creamy one, and a raspberry jam one. I'm afraid I cannot tell you what they're called because I have not a clue. Um, but I'm gonna cut into them. So they come in these little muffin cases. 
Oh, look. There's actual moussey stuff poking out of the bottom. I'm just going to cut it in half. I don't know if this is going to be... Okay, the first thing we have is a pistachio raspberry one. And it looks amazing. I'm just going to give it a go. So it's got raspberry jam and pistachio in it. Let's see. Hmm. That's a weird noise happening. I feel like I've had better in my time. Oh, it's kind of a lackluster in flavour. I was expecting more from it. I was expecting more. Okay, this is the next one. And I actually have, again, no clue what flavour this one is. But I don't know. Let's see. Oh, that is so fun. Oh, I've got an ulcer. That's banoffee, that is. That is wonderful. It's banana-y. It's creamy. It's crispy on the outside. I, ah, I think this is my favourite one. This is a good filling to have in the middle. If It's really like, you can really get that that is banoffee. This is so hard to eat, though. This is really good. This one looks absolutely insane. This one is... I think it's a nutella -y, like, hazelnut chocolate one, which I feel like it's going to be really flipping good. I want to get all the filling in, so I know I look like a weirdo eating this, but that's really nice in the strong hazelnut flavour. It's whipped, it's light. I feel like there's a good amount of filling in there. I feel like these have passed, have done a good job of living up to what I thought they would be. The last place that we went to was where they have the cube croissant now let me tell you this place was hustle bustle Cyrus was not so good but the vibes were so much fun it literally felt like i was in the middle of flipping france um so this was like a little french deli they had lots of good things that i kind of was tempted to buy but i thought hold back grace because you've got lots of other treats to try today and just try the main thing and then if you like it you can go back because this might be a swiss these are the cube croissants. Look at them. They are works of art. There's no denying. So this one is the chocolate one. And then this is the raspberry matcha. But I do feel like I have to get both just to give you an honest opinion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it in half. And we're going to see how they are inside. This is what it looks like. I actually feel like this looks really nice. It looks very light and whippy and the chocolate filling looks quite rich because sometimes they can just be a bit light and creamy that is what i would say about the cruffin kind of is a bit too whipped and light whereas this looks really chocolatey in fact kind of dark honestly it's okay i've had better croissants in my time i feel like again it's not show stopping this is the way with instagram food they normally are underwhelming so I always take it with a pinch of salt every now and then you're hit on a gold mine and you'll find something that is absolutely fantastic but every now and then you also hit on things that are not so delicious let's try and get a bit of this raspberry one uh oh oh matcha is wrong it literally tastes like grass and seaweed and things that you don't want to find in a croissant that's how I feel about that. That's not itself is good. But again, it's kind of dry. I think because they've made it into the shape, it's not super buttery and flaky. I feel like it's just a Swiss. Seeing as I was taking you on a little journey of trying all the Instagram foods, I thought I'd also show you to this place which is called Ugly Dumpling, where they have dumplings in all different sorts of flavours. It was quite fun, but it was hard to work out what each of the different flavours were, because we got an assortment of all the different ones. But it was a good time. I reckon that's cheeseburger. I'm going to try this first. Are you? It's I'm going to go for the cheeseburger one. I hate that. <laughs> Mushroom and truffle. That's like leek, leek and mint or something. What were the options again? Something's not adding up. <laughs> oh, this one looks like cheeseburger. No, that's truffle. But is it? That's beef. These weren't the most amazing dumplings I've ever had, I will be honest, but it was still quite a fun experience. You know, I'm all for a little experience, but it did make me question my taste buds because I couldn't pinpoint which flavours are which. Also, these were the Nutella gyoza, which I have to say were fantastic. Those ones were a definite yes from me.
as I thought would be the case, they did not have the special croissant. As I couldn't get the New York City inspired croissant, I ended up getting the just a normal croissant and then this one was recommended to me by the guy serving me and the croissant was really good. The chocolate thing, I don't know, I was expecting a bit more. I think I prefer a pan au chocolat but I did really like that croissant. It was really nice flavour. 10 out of 10. That is the end of the video today. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, leave, leave me a comment and let me know where you want me to try. I'll have to say, I really did enjoy going to Mason Berto, I think it's called, um, because it was just not like any other places I've been to lately. It just felt so like I was literally walking into a time machine back to many moons ago. Um, and it did feel like it held a lot of stories. But other than that, I don't know if I'd recommend any of the things I tried. That's why I do these videos, so you don't have to waste your money on it, innit? Anyway, love you loads. Have a great week. Send you love.